Hello, everyone. Good evening, I should say. This is the Idle Mind. With my nice little glass of water here. On this cooler night. You know, you can tell it falls already in the air by the temperature wise. So, uh, <clears throat> let me to take my little hat off here. Always, they always say fix your hair a little bit after you take your hat off. Do you know what type of hat this is? This is what you call a fedora hat. It has two indents here. It has a little indentation on the top. And typically the back here is turned up and the front is turned down. Not always though, but that's how it's typically worn. So we shall put it right here next to me. Always take your hat off while you're indoors. I'm kind of thirsty. I had a uh, big pepperoni pizza for dinner and sometimes you know, I could, it's sometimes so, uh, so a little salty. So always a glass of water is handy. You know, second to uh, you know, Monster, uh, you know, Monster is my favorite energy drink, as you know. But my favorite drink out of all is water, right here. Believe it or not. Want water first, Monster second. Or any other energy drink, to be exact. Very, very nice. Do you know what we're, to do you know what we're talking about today, by now? You should. Today we'll be talking all about drinking glasses. That's right. Glasses such as this. It's something that you drink out of. You know, something that holds your liquid that you're drinking, and something that you could hold, and that you drink out of. You know, I want to show you something in my kitchen. I have a ton of glasses lined up that I want to show you right now. You know, alright. Actually, I have so many glasses I want to talk to you about. Here, follow me. Let's go. Let's take a look at these glasses here. Alright, so here we are today in my kitchen. And, uh, you know, as I said earlier, I wanted to show you all the different types of drinking glasses. Because, believe me, there's more than one. You know, you might, when it comes to mind, drinking glass, you might just think, oh, there's only one or two. No, there's tons and tons of drinking glasses. However, I'm only going to show you a few. A bunch, but a few. Out of all of them out there, there's only a small slice of what's out there. But, uh, you know, we'll see what we could get with what we have, and, uh... That'll be that. So the first type I want to get to are beer glasses. Now what's one thing that comes to mind when you think of beer glasses? The classic Pilsner glass. And right here, as you can see, is a Pilsner glass. It's basically a taller glass. And uh, I've, actually ha I've actually used these in my reviews. And this is a Pilsner glass. If you could actually look here, it actually says Pilsner right here on the glass, and we'll glare, but it's a much taller glass compared to what I'll have next for you. But look at this. It's a very tall glass, even if you turn it on its side here, it's, pr it's, it's, it's pretty big, and it could hold a lot of, you know, liquor or whatnot. But actually, I use this to drink energy drinks out of, believe it or not. I do. I've used this on countless reviews, and I'll probably be using this on reviews in the future. So this is commonly associated with beer. It doesn't have to be a beer glass. It could be, I could use water, I could drink water out of that. So that's the first glass I want to show you. And the second beer glass I want to show you is the standard pint. Right here. Let me get it to you. Right here, the standard pint. Standard pint. When you think of beer, this is what you get. Standard pint of beer. If you actually see, there's the official symbol right there on the glass. I don't think you could see it that well. But it's, a, it's, you know, it's the official symbol. It says pint right there. And this is this is a pint of beer. This is what most this is what they serve beer in a lot of times, the standard pint of beer. However, what if you want to get a little less than a pint? Well, of course you could have your half pint glass, which I also have here. Believe me, I got a lot. And here is your half pint glass. So that looks almost exactly half of this. And that's because it is. It's exactly half of a pint. I wonder if you could put it inside of the other glass. You could, you could, I guess, but I don't want to damage it, so I'm not going to. But as you can see, half pint, pint. So, there's half of the pint. So say you want more beer, you get this. Want less beer, you get this. Simple as that. And also, you could drink whatever you want out of this. You could get more soda, you could get less soda. More water, less water. You know? 
So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, more acid, less acid. You know, it is what it is. You could do whatever you want. You could put whatever you want in these glasses. Believe me. Let's line up our little glasses right here. And now we go to the classic wine glass. Now, I'm, sh I'm, sh I'm sure if you've ever watched my reviews, you've seen me drink out of these glasses plenty of times. It's practically in a ton of my videos. And right here is a classic wine glass. Why do they call it a wine glass? Because you typically drink wine out of it. And most of the time a wine glass is, eh, say, more, hmm, re related, I'll use that word, you know, associated, that's the word I'm looking for, associated with formality. And that could be, but it doesn't always need to be there, you know, but typically you don't see, uh, I don't know, some, shouldn't use this comparison, but typically you don't see some hillbilly hick drinking wine out of a wine glass, but I could guarantee you there's plenty out there. You know, one out of seven billion? Come on. Anyways, this is the classic wine glass. And as you can see, it's more this shape. You know, not like the cla Compare the shape of it to the half pint to the wine glass. Very different. Very different. The half pint probably actually does hold more. But the wine glass, they never ever fill to the brim most of the time. They almost never do. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but what I'm seeing... You typically fill it up to around this line here. Not all the time. You could fill it to the brim here and get drunk and pound them down. But most of the time, especially on like wine tasting, uh, you know, in wineries when you're wine tasting, never ever fill it up to the uh, brim. You never do. You'd be an idiot to do that. Typically fill it to about here. But if you're drinking it, you can fill it to whatever you want. You know, and also with wine, you get different types of people with wine. People. You get people that, you know, like to swirl it around, smell it. Then you get the people that just pound it down. My parents are the uh, first type. They like to examine it first and see what it's like, and then, and then do what they gotta do. So that's a classic wine glass. And as you know, I like to drink my energy drinks out of a wine glass because, well, I like to do that. The second, well, fifth glass I have here is an atrocity which I refuse to drink of. It's an, it's an atrocity. That's what it is. This. This, right here, it's what you call a jelly jar glass. Apparently, I don't, I don't recall it ever being a jar, apparently it was originally a uh, jelly jar, which was cleaned out and made into a glass. I guess you could say it's, uh, if you want to make a free glass, boom, that's what you do. You clean out the jar, it could be any jar, clean it out and boom, you got a glass, but uh... That's that. I uh, refuse to drink out of this. I, n I wouldn't dare ever drink out of that. It's an atrocity. Atrocious. Anyways, you got the nice rat on the cover here. Muppets in space, yep. Very nice, right? Very nice. So you could drink anything you want out of that. There's no, you know, it's not tied with anything, or it's, you know, not associated with anything, so. You know, that's that. Right here, up next, is our standard water glass. What is this? Oh, it's made for water. Of course it is. Even the design, it doesn't look like it's made for alcohol. I mean, it could be, but it looks like it's made for water, you know? That's what, it's, that, that's what it kind of is made for, you know? And that's what we always use it for. We always use it to drink water out of. However, I, I only drink my water out of fine crystal. But anyways, that's what is commonly associated with water. And that's what it kind of is. It's the uh, standard water glass. That's what we always drink our water out of. Probably if a lot of people saw us, they would associate this with water. But I don't know. You could drink whatever you want. Milk, whatever. But we associate this and re relate to it as the standard water glass. So this is made to drink water out of, we will say. Now, there's different types of glasses out there, too. We have regular glasses versus crystal glasses. You're probably thinking, oh, what's the difference here, you know? How about we get this versus this? Psst, I drink out of this one. Anyways, what's the difference? There's one way you could tell, and let me show you. It's if you actually flick like the inside and the outside of it. Here's the regular glass. Alright, did you hear that? that was just a little blunt sound here? Now here's this. See how it rings? That's how you could always tell a crystal glass from a non-crystal glass. Flick it, makes this blunt sound, not crystal. Flick it, 
and it rings, that's crystal for you. And this is all I drink out of. Because fine crystal is my type of glass. So let's line these two beautiful glasses up as well. Let me just get into this one here for a moment. Uh, and this glass here, I actually have another one here which is uh, ready to be washed out, but that's beside the point. Uh, this glass here is, uh, I, I use them for as a uh, water glass. You know, most people would probably drink alcohol out of these, uh, like you know, champagne or something, but uh, quite honestly, no, I drink, I drink my water out of this. That's all I use it for, is water. You know, so that's that. You could obviously drink whatever you want. I could drink my Monster Energy drink out of that, but I choose not to. I choose only to drink my uh, water out of this glass, and that's fine. You know, I mean, we always said, all right, they're great glasses, and they're given to us to use them, but, uh, you know, we didn't have enough. We, we, uh, we're short by one, so I use them now. I figure put them to use, put them to work, you know? So that's that. My water glass, per se. Colored glasses. Colored glasses? What are those? Well, it's simple. You could say that the crystal glass right there was a colored glass. However, I'll use two better examples, per se. The first one is this goblet. A goblet, first off, is something that's used to drink a large amount of liquid out of. It used to be very popular back in the medieval era, where uh, you might see always the king, you know, drinking out of a goblet, drinking his, you know, fine wines and whatnot. But now, you might st see some people, you know, with them. My dad likes to use them, actually, still. But he's just, as a collector, you know, item. So this is the first thing. It's this big green goblet right here. The second is this fine martini type glass. Let's move our goblet over here. Fine martini type of glass. Let me just reach into the cabinet for a moment and show you two, uh, one more actually. And another one is this blue glass here. You see in those? That was my sock. Now you see in those? This is colored glass. That's right, colored glass. That's where the glass is sometimes dyed, or is naturally, a different color. Or it could be made out of a different material in glass. And this one, exa for example, is green. This is also a greenish type. And this one is blue. So as you could see, could they be dyed? Yes. Could they be not? Yes. But some people favor, especially my dad, these types of colored glasses right here. So they're all different. But uh, that's the difference between a colored glass... Let me just take, uh, eh, let's take the fine martini glass, I really like it, but let's compare the, these now. You have the two colored glasses and then the one in the middle. There's a big difference, isn't there? Of course. So let's move our glasses back over here. And last but not least, we have shot glasses. And actually, I'm sorry, we have a different, we have two more actually. Oh, I guess one more after the shot glasses, but anyways, shot glasses right here. What is that meant for? It's meant to have a very small amount of water or any type of liquid. Actually, it's not water. That's what I use it for again. But typically, a very small amount of a very strong liquor or alcohol in it, which sometimes is served up you know, at parties. You might see people pounding down shots. Sometimes it might even come with a dessert. I know this one Mexican restaurant I always went to. They would always give you a shot after uh, dinner. They'll finish you off. You know, get in the car crash after your, uh, your dinner. <laughs> Anyways, though. Yeah, so shot glasses are meant to have a very small amount of a very strong liquor. So, uh, that's the purpose of a shot glass. However, as you know, I've drank some of those really bad energy drinks out of this shot glass. And also some very small amounts of water out of shot glasses as well. But they're typically a lot smaller than any other glass. I actually use it in comparison right here from the small, small shot glass to the full pint. Look at how small this is compared to this big pint. It's really something, isn't it? All different types of glasses here. I know, final type here is souvenir glasses. Say you're on vacation and you're at a gift shop. I guarantee you, next time you're there at a gift shop anywhere, look at the shelves and I guarantee you, if you look close enough, you'll find these glasses here. Glass number one. This, this, this also could be a colored glass in some aspect here, which we picked up from Niagara Falls. Right here in the white, it has Niagara Falls written. And it's a shot glass as well. So a fancy souvenir shot glass. And the second one here from our own hometown in New York City, Hard Rock, Hard Rock Cafe glass in uh, 
New York. This could also be described as a shot glass in some aspect here. Just a different, more thin type of glass. Those are souvenir glasses, where typically, if a certain company is basically trying to sell out, you know, make it a conversation piece, trying to, trying to do some subliminal advertising, per se. But, another thing, it's just, they're trying to take your money in whatever way they can. That, that's how I'm going to put it. But, believe me, they're pretty cool glasses, especially this one. I like it. I do. I really do. It's a nice, it's a good glass. And this one's cool, too. It's a good glass. So anyways, that's all about glasses. Well, let's head back and uh, we'll see what we have to bring up after that. Alright, I hope we learned all about glasses today. See you in a little bit. Alright. So, here we are. I'm looking at a car outside there. I think that's my neighbor, but anyways. Why does that matter? So here we are, you know, back from our kitchen here. What did you think? You know, who would have known that there were so many different types of glasses out there and so many different things you could drink from them. There are so many things out there that you could do with these glasses. So many other things you could do with them too. And so many things you could drink out of them. Yeah. I'm a little cold. It's a uh, pretty cool night. So I figured I would bring my nice blanket to show you here. You know, this. You, know, you could even do something as simple as this. You could just put it over your lap and even that would provide some adequate warmth. Or, with a blanket such as this, you could spread it out like this, put it over you. Now you see me, now you don't, right? Eh, you're too old for that. But easily like this, I could put the blanket over myself like this, and it could provide adequate warmth. I could even doze off here, right here, right now, just because of a simple blanket. And that's what you kind of need to sleep. You know, you need a nice blanket, adequate warmth, but what I also like to do when I'm getting to sleep is a nice glass of water. For some reason, it always helps me get to sleep. I don't know why, but it does. And speaking of the water, what holds it typically, in my opinion? A nice crystal glass. So anyways, here. That's all I have to say in regards to glasses. Drinking glasses, of course. Let's put our blanket back here. Well, I really hope that you... We're able to find something useful out of this that maybe you learned a thing or two about all the different types of glasses I have in my possession. And who knows? I might talk about something else tomorrow. You never know. You just have to watch and find out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, a great night, and see you later. Take care.